Hi, uh, this is VRR. Uh, welcome back to uh, VRR Knowledge Hub. In this today's video session, we'll discuss about uh, classes in C-Sharp. So what is a class and uh, how we are going to declare a class in C-Sharp in programming language and uh, what are all other things we are going to define in, in the class and uh, what are the uh, I mean advantages and importances of you know putting everything in the class and accessing the class in the programming language. So I can say like the class is nothing but any kind of template uh, definition uh, for the methods and variables uh, in a particular kind of you know class. So that's that way like an object is a specific instance of a class it contains the real values instead of uh, variables. So I can say like it's a, a kind of you know a blueprint kind of thing this class describing attributes and behaviors that you have used uh, to create an object while programming. In uh, programming uh, uh, language, uh, if you can say in object-oriented programming language, basically uh, this class is being used. Uh, this class uh, is nothing but you know a set of you know uh, methods and uh, attributes and fields and properties. Uh, and thus, an object is a specific instance of a class. Uh, if you can create an object for the class, uh, it contains real values instead of variables. Uh, the class is one of the uh, defining idea of object-oriented programming. So the object-oriented programming completely depending on this class object, uh, this object-oriented programming name itself uh, have object. Object is nothing but you know the class or uh, something you can say it's an object which, con which contains some uh, stuff uh, which related to the uh, object and can be accessible uh, using an object uh, by creating instance of the class. So a class enables you to create your own custom types by grouping together variables of other types as well, uh, along with methods and events. So likewise, uh, you know, in object-oriented programming, a class defines certain properties, fields, events, methods, etc. A class defines the kind of uh, data and functionality uh, their objects uh, which will have. So how we are going to define a class? So if you look at the diagram, so we are basically creating a class using a class keyboard. Uh, before coming to this particular picture, we'll see how we are going to declare a class. I'm just defining here class uh, with some, you know, some example. Let us say I'm, I'm going to create a class called my class. I'm just creating a class using class object. This is a class. So always we are going to use a class keyword to create a class and here within the class I am declaring uh, you know some fields like it is my field uh, which initially assigning as an empty string dot empty also I am creating a constructor please do note that the constructor always uh, the class name uh, so inside this constructor you can define whatever you want and again I am going to declare a method which returns you know uh, null value. This is my method which accepts two parameters, parameter 1 and param 2. Uh, inside this function, I'm going to print this console write a line or of, you know, uh, like, you know, first parameter, uh, first parameter of, you know, 0 and uh, second parameter, uh, Second parameter of one and param one and param two. So this is what my definition inside the function. Right line. Okay. Oops. Basically, the case and so we have to type and put some correct string and. St then only it accepts. That's fine. So this is what my method, and after my method, I'm going to declare some uh, properties. Uh, like let us say, like I'm um, just declaring uh, property uh, called you know uh, my auto complete or auto uh, assign or auto implement from properties. Uh, implement uh, you know the uh, property. So where it has a set and get uh, get us set and get us to set and get the uh, properties auto implement properties where it has get uh, get and set. So by that way, it will automatically get it. Also, I will declare uh, one private uh, access specifier uh, field of type. 
um, integer my property uh, you know var so i am accessing this property with the public uh, um, property method my property because um, this uh, private number we can directly access it so property so here i am just uh, you know implementing get where it returns my private value and set i'm setting underscore my property value equal to that okay this is about my property method and uh, these are my uh, class structure uh, i'm going to define it here so this is my class the name is class name and this is the access specifier i have been specified and this is my field this is the return type of uh, the kind of uh, field and this is the access specifier and this is a constructor of type access specifier and this is my method and these are auto implemented properties this was introduced in you know uh, c sharp 3.0 where it automatically uh, implements the getter and setters so if now if you look at the diagram which i have been showing in the slide you can know everything this is access specifier this is the class name this is the field and this is the constructor this is the method name function name and these are the auto implemented properties which automatically implements the getter and setters and these are the properties okay, if you look at access specifiers as i told you these are the main areas which, which provides the access to your class when you declare a class you should specify the access specifier otherwise it will take a public so in c sharp we have different access specifiers public private protected and internal uh, based on your requirement you can use it we'll discuss more on this access specifiers in the next uh, class and in this session we'll only concentrating on the class object how we are going to define and how we are going to create with um, fields members methods and properties and along with constructors okay coming to the uh, you know this uh, method which i mean which i've been declared here uh, is nothing but a name method can be uh, defined using a callback syntax a specifier and return type and method name and the parameters is a syntax and you can declare uh, based on the required method here i here i declared um, the some example with integer parameters and void return type and coming to the properties this is the pin I mean, private property i mean declared which 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 which, which, will, which you don't have access directly and it only accessible through via public property here uh, that way we can access it uh, this my property it is encapsulating this property value and give you outside and uh, this is about properties and coming to the namespace uh, if you look at the namespace in the program which we have been created recently and if you go to the top we will see this is a namespace where it is a uh the class uh, we have been written uh, this namespace is nothing but a container for a set of uh, classes and related classes uh, and namespaces namespace is also used to give a unique names to uh, classes within the namespace name and the namespace and the class are represented uh, using of uh, you know the uh, dot uh, basically so if you want to represent uh, the class name in the namespace namespace dot class name something you have to use here that is what the representation we have in c sharp hope like uh, hope you understand the uh, concept of class and how we are going to declare this class in c sharp dot net and uh, inside class what are all the things we are going to uh, specify and how they are going to behave and um, uh, this is what the basic uh, fundamental things of a class so if you want to access inside of this method and member and a constructor or any uh, thing which you have been declared here you need to create a object for this class so object you have to create for this class is nothing but instance instantiating of your class is nothing but an object through this object and with the dot representation you can access all these you know declarations okay so thanks for listening to this video and please subscribe more videos on this youtube channel uh, related to c sharp thank you